Using an industrial strength adhesive, glue your pennies to the table and allow to dry for at least 30 minutes. Prep your project by taping off any areas you don't want the epoxy to touch by using HVAC tape. Measure and mix up a small batch of epoxy for your seal coat. A seal coat is an essential step to prevent excessive air bubbles from forming in the flood coat process. Pour your epoxy onto the table and use a rubber squeegee or a foam brush to drag the epoxy across the entire surface to achieve an even coat. This coat is used to seal off a porous surface. It does not have to look perfect as the flood coat will cover any imperfections. Allow your seal coat to dry for at least four hours before proceeding to the flood coat. Using our epoxy calculator, measure how much epoxy you will need to cover your table. Using clean mixing containers, measure equal parts of resin and hardener using a one-to-one -one ratio by volume. Mix thoroughly with a paint stick, being sure to scrape the sides and bottom of the container as you go. Pour the epoxy and hardener from your mixing tub into a clean container, scraping all the mixture out from the sides and bottom of the cup. Using a new mixing stick, mix for an additional three minutes. This will ensure the epoxy has been thoroughly mixed. Immediately pour your thoroughly mixed epoxy onto your tabletop. The epoxy self-levels, so there is no need to move it around with any tools. The epoxy can be allowed to flow over the sides, which will create a coating on the vertical edges. Once you have sufficiently covered the entire surface with your flood coat, you will begin the process of removing air bubbles. The best tool for removing bubbles is a torch or heat gun. Hold the flame source over the tabletop and quickly sweep across the surface using an ironing motion. You will immediately see the bubbles start to pop. Keep your project in a clean, dust-free environment at a minimum of 75 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit for 72 hours to complete its full curing process.